as you can see, doing some prep work for an early morning. So as I said in the last video, I was going to go out and we we're going to end up taking the airbags out because I did have a couple pinched airlines. So that'll give you guys more of a better understanding on how to put that kit together for the for the older Mercedes. Uh, but yeah, we'll get right into that. Okay, so here's the deal. Um, obviously, since I put the airbags in and then got the car back on the ground again, because where it sits now is too low. And uh, in the next video, I should be doing an unboxing for what I have for the air management system that came in. I got through bag riders. It's just a manual system, but I'll go through the box, show off all the parts and all that fun stuff. But let's go ahead and get this thing up on the gr off the ground so I can put a jack under it. So, as you can see, all I have is just an air tool. But I put a quarter inch airline fitting and adapter so that I can be able to hook up to the airline that's attached to the driver's side airbag. I also had everything teed off earlier, so I was able to lift up the front end at the same time. But I obviously don't want to be running both bags off the same airline when the management comes in because then it will just slow down the process and I'd rather have better control of all four corners on top of just having the front and the back operate together. So.
Okay, so to be able to droop the lower control arm far enough to be able to uh, squeeze that bag back out, you have to end up taking the bottom bolts off for the shock. This would be the same as if you were removing the springs in the first place to end up putting in the, the airbags. But uh, we'll go ahead and get that in there. Also, if you're doing the airbags, you got to remove the uh, sway bar links because you won't be able to get the full travel if you're only doing one side at a time. But uh, yeah, let's get this thing apart. Okay, so once you got the, uh, the lower shock bolts out, you want to release a little bit of pressure on the uh, lower ball joint bolt for these lower control arms. That way you don't damage the threads and you don't have uh, pressure behind it as well. So I've been able to support it just with the jack. So I'll be able to take that bolt out and then as soon as that bolt's out, uh, that whole lower control arm will just droop right down. And then I should be able to fix for the fact that I think that my bag isn't clocked properly for when I put the airline in. So I think it's just kind of sitting just off and it had caused the airline when it did go up to just kind of cock and pinch sideways if i had that turn properly to where the hole is that i put the airline through it probably wouldn't have done that because i did make sure that i did it on the passenger side so we'll go ahead and get that apart and then we'll drop this and then i'll show you again here okay so this is my culprit right here it was actually about to break off entirely and like i said i think it's because I didn't quite have the bag clocked properly on the lower mount because all it does is it just rests into where the old coil itself was. And uh, another thing to note, if you guys are going to end up wanting to uh, lower this, is take out the factory bump stops. Uh, it'll actually help with getting it down lower, obviously, but... Uh, We'll go ahead and we'll fix that blunder and then we'll come back to it. Okay, so that's the bag back in the perch. You can see where the top hat sits where the coil spring used to go. It's the same with the bottom here. It sits just in where the coil spring used to. It's now clocked properly. The airline itself isn't kinked or anything. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and uh, Get the tire back on, put it back down, and give it a test to make sure that everything's okay. But other than that, right now, it looks like it's okay, so. Okay, okay so now that I got the airline and the bag back in, I have it raised up right now. Just making sure that it doesn't lay down. Seems like everything's fine now. It's definitely rising and dropping at a lot better rate now. now equal on both sides so it's a lot better I'll get a better shot here for you guys of it rising Okay, as you guys can see, it's a lot better. So now I gotta do the exact same thing to the uh, to the driver's side rear. I think I did the same. I didn't have the bag quite clocked properly when I went to go put it back in. And I think it did, uh, I think it did crimp a line on that as well. It's a little easier to do the rears. There's not much to it at all, actually. It's just a matter of getting the car up off the ground, put the jack underneath it. You'll do the same thing, you're gonna support the the lower half of the axle just so that you don't just drop it on the ground when you take the shock mount off because that's about the only thing that you have to deal with for the rear but uh go ahead and get that done and i'll uh, show you guys that once it's once it's apart okay as you can see that's the old top spring perch and took off the lower bracket and you end up getting this new flat stock bracket that goes on the bottom to so take over for that Here's the airbag. Like I thought, 
I'd end up kinking it because the bag wasn't quite clocked where it was supposed to be. But you end up drawing a hole through the center of the perch. It's turned, goes up into the top of the trunk here. You will have to cut holes. I don't think you have to go that big with a hole saw, but I end up doing it anyways. Just be able to run a line in because that uh, spring perch goes underneath where this uh, support brace for the rear trunk area goes and you can't gain access to it without cutting a hole. So I'm gonna go ahead and recut that line and uh, reinstall the bag and test it out, make sure everything's happy. Okay, so got the airbag in, it's not kinked anymore. It's actually clocked with proper in a proper um, uh, position now so the airline doesn't get pinched so uh, just so you guys know i do have this thing hooked up to just chop air for now just to be able to get the car up and down so i can move it but uh as you can see here get back enough now drops and fills at the proper um, at the proper timing it matches up with the with the passenger side airbags now which is good so uh, yeah I think that'll be it for today like I said next time around we'll probably be doing a bit of a look over to see what we end up getting for management but uh, till next time if you guys like what you're seeing like comment subscribe all that fun jazz and uh yeah till next time